What's good, everyone? It's your girl, Miss Led from WeSampleEverything.com. Welcome to my new series, What's in Your iPad, where I'm basically just going to be going through every single app in my iPad that I use for music production. So I hope you guys like it. Hit that like, subscribe, and check out WeSampleEverything.com. And thanks for watching. Okay, today we're going to get into Koala. This is a great little sampler to have. You could do a lot with it. As you can see, I'm a bit of an app hoarder. I have four iPads with tons of music production apps. So let's get into this Koala and I'm going to show you everything you could do on it. Some cool little tricks and how you can make some dope beats on it. This also works on your iPhone. It comes in landscape and portrait mode for all the phone users on the go. So here you have your monitoring option and your mic option. You can record from your mic on your iPad or iPhone or you could resample, we'll get into that later. But when you're using your mic, you also have effects. Just gonna run through them quickly. We're gonna go in depth on these effects later too. So this is the sequence section. You have four rows of sequence options that you could just add on to. Down here you have your bar duration. Now up here when you click the tempo, you have the tempo options, your swing, quantize, your metronome. And then when you come over here to perform and you click that, you got some dope effects you can actually put on. You can use live or you have the option, you can use the slider or you have the option to hit hold and hold the effects where you want them. Up here in the menu, you have your new project, your load, save. We'll get into record song, resample loop and all of that. And you see they give you the dope option below to get live light. This way you can use your Ableton with it. This is what the settings look like. One shot enabled, hold to record. And you could go in and play around with these and get them how you like them. Your MIDI options, your audio options. Now the basics of this app is you pretty much just hold the pad and it starts to record. And when you're done recording what you want, you let go. And I'm gonna show you a few ways you can record and a few different things. So, so let's just say you want to actually make your sounds with your mouth through your iPad mic. So we're just gonna do like three sound effects, record them in, gonna hold the pad, just record something, let go, and then play it back. Now, once you have your sound recorded, you can edit it, play with the volume, the pitch, or the pan. You see, I'm totally changing this up. Now, in edit, you can crop it, normalize it, play with the attack, the release, the tone. You could even reverse it. I'm going to play with the attack and the release now. You can see that's pretty accurate. Now let's play with the tone. And you could get some creative sounds out of this. Like, say you wanted to just record this sound you already recorded in. You can just hold the pad to record and play that. And then play with those settings and get it sounding different. Now let's just add a third sound effect in here. Now I'm going to come in here, trim it up, and just play around with the effects. And if you want to use the looper to keep it going, just hit this loop button and there you go. You can see how easy it is to just do anything and start a rhythm up. Okay, now that you see the basics of that, I'm just going to record two sounds in and then we're going to go to the sequencer and I'll show you how that works. So here we have sort of a kick sound. I'm going to crop it, trim it down, and edit it real quick. And I'll just edit this really quick. As you can see, I'm playing with the pitch, the attack, and the release. Then we're going to go over here to the sequencer and we're going to record a little pattern in. I'm just going to stop that and start it over. 
And I'm just going to come over here and click this one and record a different one right here. You can just switch back and forth between them. You just click it and it'll keep playing. And if you mess up on one and you want to delete it, you just hold it and drag it to the trash bin. And to copy and paste it, you just hold it and drag it over to the pad you want to paste it on. So now let's go over to perform and play with some of these effects. Now I'm going to hit hold and just leave it there. This way I don't have to keep my finger on the slider. So you can see you can get some really cool effects out of this and totally change up the sound of the whole pattern. So this is what I came up with. So I'm just going to leave it on hold for a little bit and go back to the sequencer and save this. So you hit the menu and just save as. Now you can load this up whenever you want. Now let's take a look at the import audio feature. And once you hit that, it'll open audio share up and you could grab whatever file you want and just bring it right into the Koala. Or another way to bring in sounds from your files app, make sure your files app is in the dock, hold it, drag it up to the right or left of the Koala app. Look for the sound you want, just drag it into a pad. And then you just swipe that off your screen and here goes your sound. I'm going to go back to sample and just trim this down and play with it to get a different sound out of it. Okay, I like the way that sounds, but I want to do more with that sample, so I'm just going to copy it over to another pad. Now, once I copy it over there, I'm going to take a different piece of the sample and mess with it. And again, copying the sequence down to another pad is just easy. You just hold it and drag it. Now let's say you want to make this guy two bars instead of one. And you want to take this bar right here and put it over onto this one. You just grab it, drag it over to that bar. And then this option will pop up, mix or add to the end. So you want to just add this to the end. And now you can see it's two bars with both patterns. This will help save room and you'll be able to start building your song. Okay, now this little keyboard right here, I'm going to show you what this does. It brings up chords for you to play even more. So when you click it, it tells you to choose which sample. You choose your sample, this pops up, and now you can play around and get totally different sounds out of this. Now also down here, you have the option to switch up to any of these you want, which is pretty good. You have your chromatic, major, and minor, you can just play around with these as well. So if you want to play
play around and record something else in real quick. Just hit that record and go ahead. Okay, let's go back to the sample section and take a look at resample from the app. So when you click that, now you can hold down a pad and click any other pad that you have sound on and it'll record it in for you. It'll start recording as soon as it picks up the sound. And as soon as you let go of the pad, it'll stop recording. So even if you want to catch like a little snippet, like a little chop just to play around with for sound effects, you can grab it. Let's take a look. So you see, I literally just held the pad for a second and just recorded this little sound. I'm going to delete it, but I just wanted to show you that you could do that. So that's a dope little option just to get more sounds from the sounds you already have recorded in. Like for example, I'm just going to re-record this kick with the effects still on it and make it sound totally different. And doing that, the options are endless for sounds. You can even record what you just made that's playing. So once you hit play and you hold down the pad, it'll start recording it. As long as you have resample from the app on. Now I'm just going to do short pieces, like a second, just for some chops. This is just a way to come up with different sounds. You can do the whole loop if you wanted to though. And you can even add these onto what you have recorded already if you wanted to. Now I'm going to show you the record song mode. You just go into your menu and you hit that. Once you hit that and it'll start playing, it'll record each sequence. So you just hit them as you want them to go. So I'm going to record the first one twice and then switch to the next one. Record that twice and so on. I'm switching. Switching again. I'm going to record this one once. And the last one I'm going to record a few times. Then switch to the beginning and start again. And when I'm done, I'm going to hit the play button, name the song, and then share it out to whatever app I want. In this case, I'm going to share it to Final Touch. But you can just share it to your files and keep it or your audio share. Now I was telling you before, you can actually resample and record your whole loop. So I'm just going to show you that really quick. Make sure you got resample from app on. You want to hold the pad down to start recording. Go to your sequence, hit play. And from here, you can just select which sequence you want recorded and then stop when you're done. Now that's what it sounds like with both set of effects. Cause remember I have effects held on it, but it also recorded that. So it's like a double set of effects. Now I'm just going to do it again, but without the effects on it. So I'm just going to go back into perform and I'm going to take the hold off of it. So now you got the original sound. So now that you got the effects off, the pad that you just recorded onto will still have those effects because they were recorded in with them. So now I'm going to show you how the effects on the actual mic work. But for that, I'm going to take you into the kitchen where I got some music playing. And if you guys follow me on social media, you know I have a one-year-old niece that's very musically inclined and she loves to sing, dance, and go along the beats. So check her out as she joins me in sampling some of the Stevie Wonder really quick just for video purposes. <laughs>
I'm going to open the effects on the mic and we'll start with the first one. We'll go through each one so you guys could see. And as I put these effects on, I'm going to just hit the pad and record in what's playing from the radio. Now let's start with some reverb and hit the record and see what we get. Okay, so that's the reverb. Let's go to the next one. And the next one. Let's try this one. That made it totally different. Let's see this one. Next. Pause. And the robot. So you see the different effects you can add right onto the mic and what they do. All right, now I'm going to show you how you can sample from within your iPad with any app, including Netflix, Apple Music, anything that plays sound, you can sample from if you have this Euphono Behringer UFO 202. This is basically like a sound card. So now if you get your red and white wires and you plug from your input right back into your output, you're basically sampling anything that's playing inside your iPad and you get direct great quality. You don't need to use your iPad mic with the background noise. So here's how I have mine plugged in. Like I said, the red and white wires going right back into each other. And then I have the USB wire from the Uphono going into my lightning camera kit for the USB-C because I'm using my newer iPad this time. And I'm just gonna plug that straight into my iPad. So this is how I have it set up. Now anything I play on this iPad, I can record right onto one of these pads. So you want to get whatever app you're going to use to record from in your dock. Once it's in your dock, you just hold it and pull it up to the side of the screen. Play whatever you want. Hold the pad and record it. Don't mind my dog casually walking past. I'm going to hit play and I'm going to hold the pad and record it. Once you let go, you see the sound is right there. I'm going to do the same thing with audio share. If you have an app you want to record from that plays audio in the background, you can just start playing and then go back to Koala and hit the record you don't have to put it on the side so i'm just going to play this beat go back to koala hit the pad hold it for a second let go and there's my sound and i'll let you hear them back so that's pretty dope that you can do that so if you don't have one of these behringer uphonos you should probably get one because you could do this with lots of stuff and like i said you could record sound from any app so this is a game changer Overall, I love Koala. It's one of my favorite apps to play with. It's a lot of fun. It's a great sampler. One of my favorite samplers on iOS. And again, this video was made with us just making sounds with our mouth. So imagine if you did import your sounds and what you could come up with and how you can change them all around and add effects. So this is a dope app by Elf Audio. Check them out. If you don't have it, I suggest you get it. I love this app. It's a lot of fun. This is like a little SP404 or 303 for iOS. I love it. I suggest you go ahead and get it and try to get that Behringer Uphono to go with it. It's a lot of fun. You could do a lot of things. Even sound design, it's a great tool. So I hope you guys liked this episode. Stay tuned. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can see when we drop episodes. I'm going to be dropping episodes about these apps in my iPads constantly. So I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Check out WeSampleEverything.com. It's your girl, Miss Led. Peace.